Lights, camera, action. I'm Sean Colley Pony, and I want to show you 33 things to do and eat right here in Honolulu. I want to be clear, I have no affiliate links or sponsors for this video. These are my recommendations coming from a local boy who was born and raised here on the island of Oahu. With that being said, are you ready to go on this adventure? Then let's go. What? I thought you said you wanted to go on this adventure. Like and subscribe! And the first thing to do is to visit the Dukahanamoku statue. Dukahanamoku was a professional surfer and has influenced many surfers throughout the world and still inspires people to this day. Pay him a visit. This is my favorite piece of the Hawaiian legend. You got a shaka, buddy. There you go. And just around the corner is number two. The Waikiki Beach. The most popular beach in all of Oahu. A lot of the tourists stay here in Waikiki and they have surf lessons, canoe lessons, the lifeguards are here. Just know that if you come here to Waikiki Beach and you're here for a relaxing area without too much people, this ain't it but it's happening here, that's for sure. Number three is the Honolulu Zoo. It's only a 10 minute walk away from the beach. Here we are at the Honolulu Zoo. The best time is probably to go around afternoon because if you come here right when it opens at 10 a.m., this is what you're gonna have to deal with. You don't wanna deal with that, right? I didn't think so. Let's go in. General admission is $19. Children's admission is $11. The Honolulu Zoo has a bit of everything from the animal kingdom. <laughs> Some of the unusual animals are giant tortoises and Komodo dragons. Look at you! I have some horrific nightmares about watching the cheetahs eat a gazelle right in front of me. And this is bringing back those nightmares. <laughs> Oh, it, it is so brutal. They are so hungry. I want to know if my friend Clayton is still here. I think it's been almost two years since I visited the zoo from the last time Nia and I went. Where you at? You want to talk up close and personal. That's pretty up close. Six dollars for this. Make sure you don't come here hungry or thirsty. And I suggest you eat at the Rainbow Drive-In that's only a two minute drive away. Let's go. Here at the Rainbow Drive-In, and this is the one place I recommend you to come to eat if you're in Honolulu. It has local eats, and it's been an establishment here for the past 60 years. That is a long line, but uh, it's worth waiting for. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. You, my friend. Yes, yeah, yes, that's me. You're all around the islands. <laughs> oh, thank you, and uh, I appreciate you watching. Wow. Well, one of our uh, subscribers here, what's your name? Uh, Rich. Came Rich? from Wisconsin this morning. So for 10.50, I got me the chili dog plate, which includes two hot dogs here, chili, the mac salad, and the rice. Let's eat up. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's tasty, it's delicious, and it's hard to keep clean, but it's a hot mess all in your mouth. Cheers. The chili dog plate is my personal favorite. The next dish is the popular $12.95 mixed plate of mahi-mahi, chicken, barbecue beef, rice, mac salad, and tater sauce. That's the winner right there. Where do I start? I think I'm gonna start with the mahi, which is the fish. And this thing is screaming my name. It's actually asking me to eat it right now. And the tartar dip was nice, rich, and thick. And this is soft and tender. And you combine the two, this is oh no, no, no. 
<laughs> Our friends from Japan. Yeah, from Japan. <laughs> I love you. Now we're gonna have the barbecue beef, and this looks pretty promising. That's what I'm talking about. That's the real winning combination right here. And they give you a huge portion of this boneless chicken. Ooh, let's eat up. I love chicken and this is pretty good. I mean, I'm surprised I get this big piece all for $12.95 in Honolulu. That's a hard find. Oh, the awesome part about vlogging is when you see some of your subscribers. Hi. Hi, uh, and you're Aisha. I, nice to meet you, Aisha. From California, and Northern California. Kylie's in the house. Vacaville. <laughs> yep, we follow him, and we went to a few of his restaurants that he recommended, and they were great. Thank you, thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. And some of the best shave ice is right here in Honolulu. If you watch this channel, nobody loves shave ice more than me. And. Three out of the five best shave ice spots on the island are right here in Honolulu. The first spot is right here at Wyola Shave Ice. It's a local's favorite and they have the softest and most smooth shave ice with a wide variety. It's like pure sugar heaven. <laughs> Another spot is Shimazu Shave Ice. Their shave ice is fine in texture. You can expect big portions for the price. I just want to tell you that if you come to Hawaii, you have to try Shave Ice. It's only next door to the Rainbow Drive-In and they have another location near Laliha. I come here all the time. Make sure to add in the Creamy Halpia. The final spot is Ululani's Hawaiian Shave Ice. They're very popular in Maui and there was a big fuss when they landed the location here on Oahu and it's right next to the famous Dinner's Bakery. They have the best Shave Ice with gourmet ice cream. The portions are small but it's compacted with a punch of flavors. Ooh, wow. And did you guys check out the shirt? Merchandise coming soon. Number six is the Diamond Head Hike. It's one of the most popular and easy hikes on Oahu. So we're here at the Diamond Head Hike in Honolulu with great views of the Honolulu City, Ocean View, and Diamond Head Crater. It's not too difficult for beginners. Okay, so it's not easy the whole entire time. I mean, there is a little bit of incline. <laughs> I've seen everyone on this hike, young and old. Entry and parking reservations are required for non-residents. Parking is $10 and entry is $5. From this small parking area, there are stunning views over the Kahala Beach. It can be hard to park here at first, but just wait a couple minutes and I'm sure a spot will open up. People come here to relax, but I like to come here and jog. Only a five minute drive away is number eight. Kaimana Beach. And if Waikiki is too busy for you, right next door is Kaimana Beach. It's more chill, more relaxing, and monk seals like to pull up and give birth here. And if you do see the monk seals, keep your distance, please. And you can enjoy the sunset here. Every Saturday morning from 7.30 a.m. to 11 is the KCC Farmer's Market. Mm. You can get local foods, drinks, Hawaiian-made products, goodies, and more. It can get crowded and the prices are a bit high, but it's worth a visit. Make sure to bring cash. The next stop is the famous Leonard's Bakery. Here at the main location of Leonard's Bakery, and this is a must try. They have Portuguese fried donuts. And I recommend you eat it right when you get it, when it's hot. You have the dough box. To have one of each flavor for six costs twelve sixty. You got the halpia. Look at that. All the flinginess. If you're in the area, definitely check it out. But like I said, they have three other wagons throughout the island with not much of a wait. And if it's too crowded here, it's you. You're the reason we're here, man. You can always go to the Waikele wagon, the one near Coco Head, or the one in my hometown of Kaniohe. A few minutes drive away from Leonard's Bakery, you'll find some of Honolulu's best hidden unique eats. At the Market City Shopping Center, some of the best food places are all right next to each other. They should rename it the Market City Food Center. Make sure to check out ZN Cafe, a great new place which took the locals by storm. Where else can you get Hong Kong milk tea with frozen bear, curry crab with naan, salted egg yolk chicken wings, and tonkatsu omelet with rice? 
Another food spot is Fun Station Noodles to try never before seen Chinese style flying noodles. We're at the Fun Station and I want to eat the noodles suspended in air. And try Donut King if you love donuts. Woo! We are here at the Donut King and I heard that they have really good donuts. What is best 2020, 22, 21? Whoa. Actually, try it even if you don't love donuts because I couldn't take my eyes off the famous bacon maple donut. Here we are at the Wai Alae Beach Park. You can have nice views of the ocean, you can sit down and eat, and this is where I like to come and just relax and get away from everything and eat, and, and that's what we're gonna do here with these donuts. It's a great hidden spot if you love to picnic. I enjoyed all my donuts here. Now, off to the next place. We are going to enter the Waikiki Aquarium. The Waikiki Aquarium is small and old school. It might take only 30 minutes to see everything, but the prices are fair. An adult is $12 and the kids are $5 and it's cheaper for Kama'aina and military. Here's a couple of illegal imported sea animals that was confiscated at the airport. Just 20 minutes away from the hustle and bustle of Waikiki District is one of Hawaii's most popular hikes, the Manoa Falls Trail, a trail that takes you to a 150 foot waterfall. Manoa Falls is a rainforest hike that takes you to the tropical plants, bamboo, and gives you a jungle feel. And the Manoa Falls Trail starts right here. There is so much green and beauty here in Hawaii, in the Manoa area, and these hikes remind me about how beautiful Hawaii is and how lucky I am. Keep in mind, admission is free, but parking inside is $7 for visitors and $5 for Hawaii residents. Parking lot hours are until 6 p.m. daily. So make sure to bring mosquito repellent and sunscreen. Now, I didn't bring both because I wasn't thinking when I left home today, but do as I say, not as I do. Here at the Pearl Harbor National Memorial, and on this U.S. base here in Honolulu, Hawaii, it was under a surprise attack by Japan on December 7th, 1941. And the whole history of what happened since that day and how it affects the people now can be told here in the museum. Let's go check it out. Before we go in the museum, because you're my friend, parking costs $7. It wasn't like that before and please do not bring big bags, luggages, because if you do, it will cost $7 per bag and $10 for oversized luggage. Just to keep that in mind, let's go in. Admission to the Pearl Harbor Visitor Center is actually free. Once you step inside, you are stepping inside of a military base, a national park, and a visitor center. So when you are going to the Pearl Harbor, you are actually going to the Pearl Harbor National Memorial. Here, you can visit free and paid attractions, which can be a little confusing. Let me simplify. There's two main attractions that are free and three main attractions are paid. So now you know that Pearl Harbor National Memorial is free to enter. Inside the park, you can visit the Road to War Museum and see the attack gallery for free. Let's take a look inside the museum. It's a powerful way to learn about the Pearl Harbor attack. This museum definitely brings the event to life as much as possible. And the USS Arizona Memorial is a must-see. And the only way to get here is by this boat shuttle. A couple years ago, Ni and I, we came here to the Pearl Harbor and we boarded that boat. And it's a five-minute boat to the USS Arizona Memorial where they had the battleship that was struck and killed almost a thousand people. And when you go there to the USS Arizona Memorial, they have names of the people who passed away in remembrance and reflection of the historical event on that day. All right, welcome on board, everyone. There are three ways to get on the boat. One, standby tickets are free, but it might not be available. Two, I'd highly recommend to get a USS Arizona ticket for just $1 on this website. Three, the organized tour on the main website, www.pearlharbor.org, and for any other paid entries inside the Pearl Harbor National Memorial, such as the Battleship Missouri Memorial, 
the Pearl Harbor Aviation Museum, or the USS Bowfin and Pacific Fleet Submarine Museum, a passport to Pearl Harbor tickets will include all paid attractions, or you can buy tickets on arrival inside of the visitor center. Pearl Harbor is a special place that you must experience. Now, let's visit Ala Moana Center. The biggest mall in the entire Aloha State, with the most shops by far. I wanna tell you later on in the video where I recommend you to go shopping. Finally, some cheap priced items here in Hawaii. Well, I'm here to tell you about the food and there's a lot of good food places here. We eat it at Jay Dynasty. Jay Dynasty Seafood Restaurant is a great spot for dim sum. It's reasonably priced for the convenient location. Good vibes, it's happening, it's busy. It's busy. Tanaka of Tokyo. It's a personal food experience of the finest steak and seafood. I recommend coming here for any special occasion. The quality of food and service is top notch. Just keep in mind it's a bit pricey. Hello. Sigma Te. Sigma Te is a hidden gem Singapore Malaysian cuisine. The quality of food is better than the normal lunch plate in a food court. And everything looks so good. And it's all going in my tummy. The owner of Sigma Te is also the same owner of the trendy ZN Cafe, specializing in unique foods. And my favorite place, Jeju Bing, in the whole entire island. There's many other food places, but these are a couple of the places I wanted to highlight. Jeju Bing serves Bing Su, shaved ice Korean style. I love their desserts using delicious toppings, fresh fruit, and mochi. I come here too often, and I've said it before, and it's my most favorite place in the entire world. You can see that from all the pics and videos I have of me eating here. Number 17 is Ala Moana Beach Park. It's an iconic spot on Oahu, and this beach has so many activities. They play games, sports, they have yoga classes here. They have Magic Island, which is my favorite area, where it's like a secluded lagoon. And if you want to surf, people do go way out there and surf. But I think that overall, this is the best all-around beach on Oahu. There's something here for everyone. We usually come here to jog and watch the beautiful sunset. Thanks for making it halfway through the video. Can you hit the like and subscribe button, please? All the drone footage you see comes directly from this controller. All right, guys. The Wooly Wooly Nui Ridge Trail. I've done this trail many times. Actually, I have a whole video on it. It's around five miles in and out. Takes around four hours depending on your fitness level and you do have to be in decent shape to do this hike. And the views are breathtaking. Just see for yourself. We're at the halfway mark and it took around 45 minutes to get here, but don't be fooled. It will take quite a while to get to the next half because everything is on the incline with stairs. I'm up for the challenge. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Ready to go. I'm up for the challenge. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Willy Willy Nui Ridge Trail is located in a gated community. You must pass through a guard shack and get a parking pass. Parking is free but limited. Oh, now we're done. A hike like this deserves the biggest ramen bowl in all of Oahu. Let's go check it out. Here at Ward and we are at the Kamitoku Ramen. Supposedly they have the biggest ramen bowl in all of Oahu. I've eaten here before. Uh, supposedly the biggest ramen bowl in all of Hawaii. Ooh. This beefy king mega size is bigger than my stomach and bigger than my head. Many locals love to come here for delicious normal sized beef ramen. I recommend this mega size only if you love a lot of sprouts and veggies. They put a lot of vegetables, a lot of beef in here. They did not hold back, which I appreciate. The chicken, the beef, the egg, every, everything. Ooh. For all ramen lovers, come here. Now, off to the next place. One more time. Oh, 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 I hope I got it. I hope I got it. 
Just waiting for a whale to just come up, shoot up, smile at us, then come back down, then I'll be happy. So we only saw a whale tail from afar. But I'm happy. If no whales are seen, the tour will offer a ride again for free. So we're waiting to do the Pink Sails Whale Tour. Uh, that's the name of the company, Pink Sails, and it's located right by the Hilton Lagoon. There's a lot of parking and we're waiting in this line right now. Our second time here was way more fun since we saw a whale, turtle, and dolphins. The fun is not guaranteed, but Pink Sails is affordable. But that's just Mother Nature. Sometimes Mother Nature doesn't cooperate with the whale tours, but that's okay. Here at the Aloha Stadium Swap Meet. At the Aloha Stadium Swap Meet, and this is where I recommend you to do a lot of your shopping. We have a lot of Hawaii hats, clothing, toys, collectibles, souvenirs. We got everything over here. And we got food too. So. Come check it out, support the local vendors, and enjoy the environment. Check it out for yourself. What's up? How's it going, man? I came over here, man. I just see you. It's a great and friendly atmosphere. I met some cool people here. Like I said, they have food here. And check this out. Don't worry if you come here hungry. There's pineapples, fresh coconuts, food, delicious bites, snacks, vendors, and drinks are everywhere. Yeah, they, they got quite a bit here, so they have everything. <laughs> Finally, some cheap priced items here in Hawaii. If you want to save money on souvenirs and gifts to bring back home, this is the place to go. Because it's cheap over here. Parking is $2. Make sure to bring cash. It can be very sunny here, Make sure to bring a hat, sunscreen, and sunglasses. The Aloha Stadium Swap Meet are open Wednesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. This area is pretty cool. I mean, you got a lot of cool graffiti in the area. It's happening. Kaka'ako is a lively urban neighborhood with colorful street art, unique dining, picnic, shopping experiences, and lively events. Here with mom at the Kaka'ako Farmer's Market. Hey mom. Hello. Showing her around, looking for some cheap eats. I don't think it exists over here, but it's all good. I'm here to support local and check out more of the places. So let's go. Every Saturday from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m., Kakaako Farmer's Market features local vendors. It's an area for everyone to try the latest foods from vendors across the island. I will come here for the vibes. But the main reason I come to the Kakaako neighborhood is for the amazing street art. You can drive or walk through some of Honolulu's best murals. Around the corner is Salt or Kakaako, which is an urban place for dining, cafes, bars, desserts, and more. If you look for good traditional Hawaiian food in the area, I would recommend Highway Inn. It's a local's favorite. We ordered takeout from Highway Inn and went to the Kaka'ako Water Park for picnic Hawaiian style. You might want to check out Kewalo Basin food trucks by the harbor. And right next to the Kaka'ako Farmer's Market is this underrated date spot. I call it a date spot because for my wife's birthday, I asked her, where do you want to eat? And little did I know that we had an amazing time. We just got some food from the food truck. We got her birthday cake here and we had this beautiful view of the ocean. Very down to earth and this is another place I would recommend. The mural of Queen Luliokalani, in my opinion, is the most beautiful mural in all of Oahu. She was our first and last queen in the Kingdom of Hawaii before it was overthrown by the United States in the late 1800s. And the more you hear about the Queen's story, the more that you admire her and her presence still lives on to this day. I eventually want to do an entire YouTube video dedicated to the Queen and hear it from the Native Hawaiian's perspective. I'm going to go ahead and admire this mural.
There is an opportunity to learn more about Queen Liliokalani, Hawaiian history, culture, and the monarchy at Iolani Palace. That was the Iolani Palace. I highly recommend that you take a tour here so you know about the whole history and Kingdom of Hawaii. Now, off to the next place. Since you are here, right across Iolani Palace is the great King Kamehameha statue, the first ruler and warrior to unite the Hawaiian Islands. At the King Kamehameha statue, I'm related to this man. No, I'm Hawaiian though, I just say I am because I'm Hawaiian. Honolulu's Chinatown is a four minute drive away from the King Kamehameha statue and the Iolani Palace. Chinatown Honolulu, where Asian tradition blends with the Aloha spirit. There is no better authentic Asian food in all of Oahu than Chinatown, especially this Manapua. Manapua is popular amongst the locals. It's a Hawaiian style Chinese char siu bao with a fluffy bun. And in Chinatown, the best Manapua is right here at Royal Kitchen. There's always a line I suggest that you call ahead. Come here for the most authentic Asian food, including duck, dim sum, banh mi, pho, and much more. We have a full video on this. To experience the hustle and bustle here, I recommend you visit Morning Time. It's raw, old school, historical, with affordable eats, as long as you are open. Just a disclaimer, Chinatown is partly known for homelessness and crime, but it's overall a safe place to be as police presence is everywhere. Tantalus Lookout has some of the most stunning views of the city and landscape. It's located in the hilltop and you can drive all the way to two viewpoints during the day and sunset. The first lookout of Tantalus, beautiful views of Honolulu. Now we're at the very top and it's raining. And this is how it looks like on a sunny day. Just stunning views from Diamond Head to Waikiki Beach. And since you are here, maybe bring a snack and enjoy. And for a rainy day, it might be perfect to visit the Honolulu Museum of Art. There's something here for everyone, including Hawaiian art. At the Honolulu Academy of Arts, they have all different types of artwork from different countries. Whether it's Korea, China, India, they just they just have a vast majority of different artwork here, and it's pretty cool. This is my friend Gyeonyin. I think he comes alive when no one's here. Admission is twenty dollars, and for Kama Aina is ten dollars. My wife and I enjoyed it here. Every year we have many celebrations in Hawaii. Some of the most famous festivals and events you should know of are. We're here in Waikiki at the food festival. They closed down the busiest street in all of Oahu just for this. <laughs> now this smells really, really good. So in Hawaii, we have so much farmer's market, but this feels like a farmer's market on steroids. Oh, it's my friend Kat this year. Hey. <laughs> oh, you did? Oh, thank you. It's my friend Chris here. Great videos, <laughs> great advice. This is my idol Matt here. <laughs> he has the funniest IG ever. You, you gotta check out his videos. I know my worth because of him. No, you weren't things. <laughs> Keep an eye on King Kamehameha Day Parade. It's a time for everyone to come together and remember the father of our Hawaiian kingdom. Aloha Festivals is the largest Hawaiian culture celebration. Happy to the New Year. I wish everyone would chase me to give me money. Many locals take this celebration seriously so they can get as much good luck as possible. Now I want to have good luck for the rest of the year now. And finally, the Lantern Floating Hawaii Ceremony. Thousands of residents and visitors come here to honor loved ones who've passed and pray for peace and harmony. It's Honolulu's version of a Japanese tradition. I hope that you get to experience this for yourself. If not, you can always visit the Japanese supermarkets outside of Japan in Honolulu, Don Quixote, and the Murakai Wholesale Mart. You needed a membership to come in here before, but now there is no membership. It's open to the public. It's a fun shopping experience of Japanese, Asian, and Aloha goods. One thing I have to say, I have to clear up, is that a lot of people that come here say that there's no parking and it's hard to find parking. 
Yeah, in this area, it's hard to find parking, but right across the street over there, there's a huge parking garage that's never filled. Well, it's never filled when I go here. And don't miss this. Hey, let's see the fireworks show because they have it going on in 15 minutes at the Hilton Hawaiian Lagoon Hotels. All right, so here we are. We're gonna end the night here watching the fireworks show at the Hilton. It happens every Friday night at around 7.45 p.m. Let's enjoy the fireworks show. Fishing Museum, our Hawaiian history can be found here. Honolulu's Bishop Museum is Hawaii's largest museum. It's the best place to learn about Hawaiian Pacific culture and history. It's my favorite queen, Queen Liliokalani. She stood up for the people. There's an artwork that I really admire of her too. And the Hawaiian people, they honor her throughout history till now. You can easily spend two to three hours in order to appreciate all it has to offer. Not only do we learn about our Hawaiian history here, they have a cool science museum area. We'll check that out too. This is pretty cool. It's actually fun too. You should definitely bring your family here. Look at the volcano. City Square Shopping Center, my favorite food place on the island. So good, we did two videos here. Let's go check it out. First full day here, so they start off the morning with Kamehameha Bakery. Yeah, yeah. This is the lowest fruit in here. <laughs> I can vouch for Kamehameha Bakery and say this is a must try. In my opinion, it's the best bakery there is. It has the best pastries for a low price. And here, we're gonna check out the Poi Malasadas. That's what they're known for. Kamehameha Bakery is a local's favorite. Seriously, don't leave here without the poi malasadas and poi halpia. Next to the Kamehameha Bakery is the ube store. Let's check it out. I love ube. Ube is Filipino purple yam. They have ube cheesecake, ube cookies, ube ice cream, and ube tarts are a must eat. This is at the core of it all. What can I say? There's so much to eat and some of the best food places are right next to each other. There are a lot of bubble teas. And here we are at the marketplace, which is an indoor Asian market. Inside is pretty huge and diverse. The marketplace takes you to Asia. And they sell eel here too. Right around the corner is Chuck E. Cheese for kids to enjoy games and pizza. So this is the pancake and waffles breakfast area. I highly recommend it. They have some of the greatest breakfast with waffle, chicken, Eggs Benedict, crab, there's a lot of choices here. For a savory local breakfast, try to ask for the Kalbi local moko. Action! And much more. At the busiest Costco in the world. I want to bring you the most extensive Costco review yet. And we did just that. Please watch our Ultimate Hawaii Costco video if you haven't already. You need a Costco membership before you can enter the store or buy anything with a deli and fill up gas. Yes, you do need a Costco membership to enter and shop here. The reason why you should come here is because there are many Hawaii exclusive items that cannot be found in other Costco locations. And for our last thing to do, we are here at Lulu Mahu Falls. It takes around 30, 45 minutes to get to the waterfall. I've done a video on this before, but uh, that was a while ago. And this is one of my favorite hikes and I want to end it here. Oh, and you do need a permit to go here. Costs around 250, I believe. And I'll leave the link down below. Okay, now we can go in. Lulu Mahu Falls is one of the best Oahu waterfalls and getting there is an adventure in itself. The trail here can be tricky. We got lost here before. Okay, now we made it out here. Halfway mark. It's recommended to go with someone who has hiked here before or download the All Trails app. Here we go, here we go, here we go.
Now we are here. Awesome. And don't say I didn't warn you, but it could get real busy here. <laughs> this waterfall is a joy to behold. Now, back to the entrance. So that's it guys. I wanted to say a big mahalo for watching this entire Honolulu video. I already like you guys more than anybody else who cut me off halfway then watch something else, so thanks again. If there's anything I missed, please let me know in the comment section down below. Follow me at Hawaiian Traveler on Instagram that's located down below as well. And since you guys stuck around for the whole video, I'll tell you the next video is things to do and eat on the east side where I live. I'm gonna say aloha. Let's take a look how beautiful this is. It's a brand new location in Kanyohe. Take a look at this. So stay tuned for that. Watch all the other videos on this channel in the meantime, and I'll see you guys later. Aloha. All my friends right here. He had, hey, I would say it's not three. Uh, one, one, two, three. Like and subscribe! <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. All right, enjoy the rest of your trip. So, check out the shirt, guys. Check out the shirt, guys. Shave ice, not shaved ice. Merchandise coming soon.